better health for everybody, every day. Transforming lives, three minutes at a time. Listen up. This is your daily health tip from The Good Company. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Monday. It's Melissa from The Good Company. This week we are going to be talking about flu and cold season, which we are coming into. Um, Days are getting shorter. We're not getting enough vitamin D, perhaps not getting enough sleep, perhaps not eating quite the way we should be, hint, hint. Let's keep our families and ourselves well this winter using some of these tips I'm going to talk about this week to do so. Uh, Whether or not you get the flu vaccine, that is a personal decision. But even if you get the vaccine, I want you guys to know it's not always 100% effective. In fact, last year, they tracked, and they is the CDC, they produce a morbidity morbidity and mortality weekly report. They tracked over 4,500 adults and children from the U.S. They tracked them from November through February. And they found that the flu shot was 36% effective in this group, meaning it reduced these folks' chance of getting the flu by about a third. So if you get the flu vaccine, there is still a chance you'll get it. Know that the flu vaccine does not uh, prevent the flu of different strains other than what you've been vaccinated with. That's important to know. So we're going to talk this week about how to protect yourself. What can we do to increase our chances of staying well this winter? And the first one I want to talk about is vitamin C. We hear about it. It's kind of obvious. I want you guys to know that there really is no vitamin C toxicity, meaning if you take too much of it, it's simply going to give you diarrhea. I'm not going to recommend you take that much of it, that it's going to put you in that spot. But they are suggesting um, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C daily to ward off cold and flu and keep your immune system in tip-top shape. Um, And they also are saying 4,000 milligrams milligrams daily when you are experiencing symptoms. Um, You can do that in a supplement form with a capsule or a tablet. I like capsules better than um, chalky hard tablets. I think they digest much better. Um, And... You can also get this from foods that you're eating. So if you up your intake of fruits and vegetables generally, especially things like bell peppers, kiwi, strawberries, oranges, and broccoli, those are really high in vitamin C, um, you'll be doing your part to keep yourself and your families safe. Pack strawberries or oranges in the lunchbox for lunch. Even some sliced bell peppers. My kids love the yellow ones. Um, So we're going to start there. Vitamin C, 1,000 milligrams a a day. I will leave a link in the show notes to a capsule that I like. And you can take it um, with or without food any time of day that you choose. Uh, I always say to leave your supplements next to your toothbrush because you're there twice a day at least. And hopefully one of those times you'll remember to take that vitamin. So vitamin C for your overall wellness. Staying well in winter is our goal. We're going to talk about that all week. Hey guys, it's Melissa. Just as a reminder, when I talk about show notes for everybody who's listening on Alexa, if you go over to our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash the good company, just a reminder, good is spelled G-U-U-D, so the good company. Uh, Every day, our podcast um, is listed on our Facebook page, along with all the show notes. If you just click on the episode, you'll see the show notes and you'll have access to all the products that I'm talking about. So join us over on Facebook.